many you want, baby. Okay. All right. Cool. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The love of God is the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So there, according to the Bible and the words of Jesus, there is no room for religion. There's no room for philosophy, education, science, or technology. <laughs> The only access we have to God is through His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Bible says for those that are saved to go out and preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scripture. That's the gospel. That's the way of truth. It's not where you go, to whom you go, but Jesus. And the way to get to heaven is through the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ without spot. The Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. <laughs> And we're all sinners. At one point in all our lives, we have told a lie. That's a sin. Hello, boss. I'm not coming to work. I'm not feeling good. That's a lie. Oh, I'm feeling good. That can be a lie. Tell them I'm not home is a lie. When you've stolen something that's not yours, that's called stealing. And stealing, no matter how minute, is a sin. Your attitude to your parents. The Bible says, honor thy father and thy mother. Failure to honor your parents, no matter what situation, you're a sinner. And the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Not the religion. Not the church. Mr. Obnoxious. And that Jesus Christ is the Savior. It's not religion. It's not money. It's not a works, least any man boasts. It's believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's that simple. God sent forth his son that we might have eternal life and that eternal life rests upon the gospel of Jesus Christ that he suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose the third day according to the scriptures. How marvelous is it that God invites us not only to go to heaven, but by your faith in Jesus Christ, by you putting your sins in the care and trust and washing of Calvary, the precious blood of Jesus Christ without spot, the Bible says you become a child of God. To get to heaven, to be known of God, to be a child of God, is by you believing on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. And what do you get saved from? A place called hell. Now you would probably think that today is a hot day. Well, it's hotter in hell 
No, she doesn't want it back. And there are no reliefs in hell. There is no air conditioning in hell. There's no climate control in hell. It is a fire that burneth forever. There is no liquid of any sort. And the rich man that ended up in hell said, Oh, if I could just have a drop of water to cool my tongue. Just a drop of water. Everybody loves to be invited somewhere. And God is inviting you to a place called heaven. A heaven, a place of no sorrow, no pain, no suffering. And the invitation, the RSVP is by the gospel of Jesus Christ that he suffered and died according to the scriptures. You're not going to get into heaven by reservation, by a religion, or by what you are. He don't have any idea why he can have a job. The fact is that when it comes to work, the Bible says not of work. At least any man both. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And the truth lies in to go to heaven, one must put his faith and trust upon the finished work of Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. There is no other means, there is no other salvation, there is no other way, but Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Jesus said, you must be born again, for we are born of an old sinful nature. For the Bible says, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That there is none righteous, no, not one. And if you think that you're good enough to enter into heaven, the Bible says there is none that doeth good. No, not one. There is none righteous. All have come short of the glory of God. And when you come short of the glory of God, you go to hell. And to reach God, to come to the capability of getting to God where you fall short. You need Jesus Christ to save your soul. You need to put your faith in the finished work of Jesus. It's not what you can do, it's what Jesus Christ has done already. And what he has done is he suffered and died according to the scripture. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scripture. You can't do that. The only way you're going to come out of the grave is by the power of God, that's to be judged. And when you end up in the great white throne judgment and your name is not in the last book of life, by the finished work of Jesus Christ, your works will be looked at, but they will come to naught. Because by the finished work of Jesus Christ, who has finished the work what God approved. You see, Jesus Christ is God approved. Religion is man-made. Religion is a deception of the enemy called Satan. And the fact is that he has his way and his ways are ways. 
There are multiple ways for you to go to hell, thinking you're right with God. But there is one way to God. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. It's that plain and simple. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's not money. It's not work. It's not a church. It's all in Jesus Christ. God manifested in the flesh, suffered upon Calvary's cross that we might have eternal life. That God, Jesus Christ, the sinless, has suffered and died for the sinner. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Sin is a serious business. It set Christ off the throne of God to be born in Bethlehem and it sent to Calvary's hill to suffer and die. That he has the rightful title the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. And if you do not have the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world, you do not have salvation. You have condemnation. You'll have damnation. And you'll be in torture and torment. Because you will not put your trust in the finished work of Jesus Christ. It's all upon what Christ has done, not what man has done. And Christ Jesus was above any man. Christ was human, 100%, and he's God, 100%. No one else fulfilled. Those credentials. And thus no one else can save yourself or others. Except my God who's sinless. Except for my God who's the Lamb of God. Except my God, Jesus Christ. And the Bible says according to Acts 20:28, 20, that that blood that fled, that flowed through Christ's brain is the precious blood of God himself that he purchased the church. Now the church is not a building. It's a body of believers that are saved by the blood of Jesus Christ and only by Jesus Christ and are purchased by God, Jesus Christ. There is nothing else that can save your soul but that of Jesus. There is nothing else that will get you into heaven but by Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Jesus said, I am the way. He didn't say religion. He didn't say you. He said, I am Jesus. Jesus. He is the truth. Satan's the great liar. Hi, Mara. Satan will deceive you into thinking, hey, I'm okay. And as you take your dying breath and you fall off into hell thinking you're okay. I was screaming like that gentleman over there the other I'm day. I'm good. I lost my voice today. The Bible says. But the Bible says there is none that do it good. No, not one. That's Jenny Mackey. That's plain and simple. You don't go to heaven except by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. You go into hell with anything but Jesus Christ. And hell is darkness. You won't see your friends in hell. If there was liquid in hell, you will not see 
the liquid, but there is no liquid. There is no relief. And there is nothing else that can save your soul. But by the gospel of Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Your eternal life rests upon what Jesus does. One way street. You cannot say I'm going to heaven and reject Jesus Christ. You cannot have no hope of going to heaven when you have not believed on the blessed hope. You are hopeless without the blessed hope. Saturday night, I'm going to make myself your eternal being. You see, life is not what we see today. The Bible does speak about a afterlife. And the afterlife is that of heaven or hell. Once you die, you begin eternity. Whether you go to heaven by Jesus Christ eternal, or you go off to hell by rejecting Jesus eternal life. And there is no end in eternal. There is no time in eternal. You can either be tormented by rejecting Jesus Christ in hell, or you can get the brand new body, you can get relief, you can be saved, you get a brand new body, you get holiness, you get a temperature control. Heaven. It is never hot in hell in heaven. There is no more sin in heaven. There's no pain or sorrow in heaven. But you're not going to get that unless you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Good wishes won't get you to heaven. Good works will not get you to heaven. Church will not get you to heaven. Money, charity is not a way to heaven. But that by the precious blood of God through Jesus Christ, you get to heaven. Heaven is obtainable by the finished work of Jesus Christ and only by Jesus Christ. Are you able to get through the gates? You will not find Peter at the pearly gates. You will find Jesus Christ. And without the testimony, without the gospel, without the belief, without the faith in Jesus Christ, you will not be found in heaven. Because Jesus said, Jesus said, he is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Saved from what? Hell. You can get out of hell according to the Bible. By Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ alone. That's it. God has one plan, one action, one salvation, and one Savior. And that's Jesus Christ. Absolutely nothing else. the gospel. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scripture. Man will die. The wages of sin is death. But you have no power. You have no power in your dying for anything. You're dead. Christ has finished the work for you to go to heaven. And he 
the power of the eternal life rest upon what you do with Jesus before you die. Receive Jesus, die, and be absent from the body and present with the Lord. When you die in Jesus, you go to heaven. When you reject Jesus and you die, and they'll bury you, and in, in hell he lifted up his eyes, the Bible says. The words of Jesus. Jesus says a man without hope wakes up in hell with his eyes, with his fingers, with his tongue, with his mouth, Torment, tormenting, a forever torment. And you need not go, you need not be tormented. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. I say again, every week, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be. It's that simple. Now there's not a scripture. May I not pervert the scripture. But if you reject Jesus Christ, you will not be saved. Now that's my words. The words of the Bible is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Forever is an awful long time. Forever without pain, a brand new body, and no more sin is wonderful and great and glorious and merciful. And that's through Jesus Christ. Forever with torments and pain and sorrow and gnashing of teeth, that's miserable. And you don't need to go. A man that wakes up in hell when he hears the preaching on a Saturday morning and he dies and goes to hell, the Bible calls you a fool. Because you have heard what God wants you to do. God wants you to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And you wake up in hell, it's because you rejected Jesus. You have gone against the word of God by sending a preacher, going all the world and preach the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures the bible proclaims life is in jesus and you have just heard that and god gives you the option hey you can reject it go ahead i advise you not to But the free will for to preach the gospel, the free will to receive the gospel, and the free will to reject the gospel. But when you have heard that Jesus saved, and you choose to die without Jesus, you will enter into eternity of hell. And you're a fool, according to the Bible. The fool has said in his heart that there is no God. And God is Jesus, and Jesus is God. You know, a person will come up to you and say, how do I get to this location? And they give you direction. You would be a fool to say, well, I know where I'm going, and you don't. Well, I'm giving you directions to heaven. And them directions are by Jesus Christ through Calvary. By the finished work of that of Jesus. Because the wages of sin is death, and there is none that doeth good, the Lamb of God, which take away the, the sin of the world. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. God's not willing that any should perish. It's the love of God that God sent a loudmouth preacher to you with the gospel. And you may hate it. You may hate God. I advise you not to. I advise you come to your senses and believe what God has said. Jesus is the way. He is the truth. And he is the light.
and no man comes unto the Father but by me. There are no Catholics in heaven. There are no Baptists in heaven. They go to hell. Baptism, salvation by baptism, you're in hell. Good people are in hell. The very greatest good people are in hell because they have rejected Jesus Christ. And let me tell you the one sin that will put you in hell. Not believing, not trusting, not putting your faith in Jesus. Now we're all sinners. We have all told a lie. Lying is a sin. We have all taken something without permission. That's a sin. And we have all dishonored our parents. The Bible says, honor thy father and mother. That's a sin. You make a more bad, you make a bad you cannot, you, you cannot so say, I have never sinned. When you and the Bible all have sinned. And the wages of sin is death. And by your death, you proclaim you are a sinner and you need the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Enjoy the music because there is no music in hell. Enjoy the liquid. There is no liquid in hell. There is no party in hell. It's too dark and the alcohol burns up in the flame. You'll be too much in suffering. And yet in heaven by Jesus Christ, God has proclaimed a brand new body. How's your body doing? No more pain. Are you in pain? Greater pain will be waiting for you without Jesus Christ. A tormenting pain. And yet through Jesus Christ, a brand new body with no pain. Have you had sorrows? Sorrows are not in the gates of New Jerusalem. God shall wipe away every tear. You don't have tears in hell either. That rich man said, oh, if I could have a little drop of water. Why didn't he get it from his tears? Why didn't he get it from his sweat? Because he don't sweat and he don't have no tears either in hell. The God that created us, and we were created by God, suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. You can obtain eternal life. And that eternal life is through Jesus Christ only. Only Jesus saved. calls Jesus the blessed hope. Hope. You want hope? The hope is in Jesus. The hope is one of the gifts of the hope, fruits of the Spirit. And without Jesus, there is no hope. You know that rich man in hell never, never wished to get out? He knew he is condemned forever. And he put all his resources in. Oh, if I can have comfort. And in hell, he knew he could not go to heaven. So if I can just only have a little tip of water. Think about that. 
We are in a day of nation we can have a bottle of water, ice cold bottle of water. Oh, that feels so good. Hey, Beck, I think I'll have one. But nice ice cold, room temperature water. That feels good. But you will not have that in hell. You will not have a tip of water in hell. See that drop of water? You're not going to get that in hell. Enjoy your water now. And thank God in Jesus Christ for giving us water. We serve here at a, at a farmer's market of all the blessings of God has given us. And I bet many of you have not thanked God. I thank God for Jesus Christ. I thank God for saving my soul only by Jesus Christ. I thank God that I am going to heaven only by Jesus Christ. I thank God he's given me a mouth to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. I thank God that I have the gospel of Jesus Christ. I thank God I got the hope. And the hope lies in the finished work of Jesus Christ. Again, without Jesus, you are hopeless. If you die in your sin, you go to hell. Whether good, whoever you are without Jesus, you go to hell. And by the finished work of Jesus Christ, when you die, you are absent with the body and present with the Lord Jesus. Or even better so, one day the rapture is going to happen, and you will not face death. But we don't know when that's going to happen. There's more sure death then tax. You will die before you get taxed. Because you may die today. And if you get taxes, you will still die. And when you die, your family gets taxed. But don't die without Jesus Christ. Because it's better that Jesus suffered and died for you and then you suffering forever because you will not believe on Jesus. It's either Jesus suffering or you suffering. It's your choice. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And that eternal life rests upon Jesus, and only upon Jesus. There is no hope of you going to heaven by rejecting Jesus Christ. You will not make it. The standard God has set is Jesus. Whatever you believe, whatever you wish, will not be so. When Jesus Christ, God manifested in the flesh, said, I am, Jesus speaking, 
I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Salvation is plain and simple. It's believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. only get to heaven through the finished work of Jesus. You may hope of going to heaven, but make your hope the blessed hope through Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The glory of God is Jesus. The praise of God is Jesus. The salvation of God is Jesus Christ. I don't want to burst your bubble, but I'm going to. You will not get to heaven by rejecting Jesus. That's scripturally sound in the Bible. King James Bible. You will not make it to the Father without Jesus. Your goodness will get you in hell with plenty of other good people. And there are good people in hell. And they are there because they rejected Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The Bible says, for those that are saved, go in all the world and preach the gospel. Keep your money. But believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Stop doing good and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Stop trying it yourself and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. 